Hi, this is Soft Cell Electrical and I'm your host John. Today we're going to show you how to install two additional lights in a bathroom and some wiring tricks that will make that a lot easier. You're looking at a three gang box that was a two gang fan light combo. We got lucky on this one because the overhead shower light leg and the bar light leg were already separate. All I had to do was pull out the old two gang, put in a three gang remodeled box, and install the switches accordingly. The arrangement is now the vanity lights or bar lights, followed by the can lights, and finished by the fan. Starting with the can lights, we completely removed the old R30 where that big round hole is, and used an R20 remodel can to act as a J box for the old leg and a new leg that feeds the second and new R20. One can is over the tub and one can is over the shower. When running wire this close to an outside side wall, clearance is always going to be a challenge. In this case, we were fighting insulation and roof trusses that would not allow for a straight shot with a fish tape. So we just cut an access hole further up the roof line and midway to bypass the truss obstructions and to float over the insulation. After that, it was a simple task to run a fish tape to both of the R20 cutouts and install those remodel cans exactly where we wanted them. The trims we used are rated for damp environments and even swivel and pivot so you can fine tune your lighting effect. Now we move on to the bar lights. There was one bar light and we're gonna swap over to two basin lights. So what we did was we used a remodel box. If you look closely at the picture, we had to whittle out the drywall so that the outer edge of the box is flush with the drywall. The reason for this is the footprint of the box is bigger than the light mount. So we simply mud over that, paint it, and it's completely hidden. To jump her over, we had to notch out the wood submarine the wire behind the drywall. After fishing the wire over, we used a pancake on a stud so that we could get exactly where we wanted. Note there is a ground clip on the metal box. And also, please note that when you notch wood like this, you have to use nail plates to protect the wire from drywall screws. You want to tape the nail plates and screw them in to ensure that they stay in place. And that concludes this little tutorial on a lighting upgrade for your bathroom. I hope it's been useful. I'd like to thank you for watching and have a great day.